Hey guys, welcome back to Mavericks Arcade. My name is Chuck, and today we're going to be talking about USB ports. So, as you know, if you've built an arcade machine or are working on building an arcade machine and you're using a Windows PC inside your arcade cabinet, then you're going to run out of USB ports really quick. Um, joysticks, trackballs, all that stuff uh, can use USB, the controller cards, LED controllers, so forth. So you can run out of USB ports very quickly, and you can use hubs. But then you can even run into that issue where it says that you're out of resources on the machine. Um, one thing to note here for everybody, be aware, if you're using a USB 2.0 device, try not to plug it into a USB 3.0 hub. And the reason why is because it uses more resources when it's in a USB 3 hub than just being in a USB 2.0 hub. That being said, um, another thing you can do is on my previous machines, I've a lot of times had expansion cards on the machine. But as I've been recently building some more machines, I had the thought that hadn't occurred to me before. Inside the machine, you have those uh, ports that are made originally to connect to the outside parts of a case. And that's, for some reason, my brain just always locked on, well, if I've connected all the cables for my case, then those ports, I just don't use them, you know. But as I was building my nephew's case and we had some USB problems on his old PC, it kind of made me look at my existing machines and my streaming PC, I realized had two of the USB uh, 2.0 blocks unpopulated. And on my gaming machine, I have a USB 2.0 block. Um, one of the blocks are being used by my key fob and uh, another one of the uh, blocks are being used by something else, but I have a USB 3.0 or 3.1 port that's unpopulated. So I've got extra ports. And instead of just, you know, daisy chaining more hubs, because again, every time you add a hub, you're using extra resources just to do the computations for the hub or to handle the traffic for the hub itself. So you're using a lot of the resources of the system just occupying that type of connectivity. So just to show you guys again, which blocks I'm talking about is on your motherboard. And some even uh, pre-built PCs may have some of these ports not being used. Uh, but these here are USB 2.0 ports. So you want to go ahead and uh, fill those up if you've got them. And then also here is a version of a 3.2 port. And it is the same as the 3.0 port and a 3.1 port. The form factor is the same and the connector is the same. So what we're using, again, just one more time. This is USB 2.0 right here. And then this is USB 3.0 right here. So what I've got here, instead of buying another, you know, hub, which the little USB cards can be like 30 bucks, something like that. This is less than $10 right here. And it's a nice little card. They'll just sit in the machine. And then these little connectors here go dink, dink right into the motherboard. Very easy to give yourself four extra USB ports. If you have two of them available, otherwise if you only have one available, just, uh, you know, so for example, if you had this one, then these two ports are available and then you can just kind of like put electric tape or something over that, whatever you want to do. And then this is the USB 3.0 and above connector right here. So, and you, obviously you tell the blue ports and white ports. So what I would also suggest is you go back through your arcade and on all your USB connections, make sure if it's got a white connector, that's USB 2.0. It's not, there's no reason to have it in a 3.0 hub. If you're getting the error messages about uh, low on system resources, when you put in an extra USB device, then make sure if you have a bunch of 2.0 devices, get a separate 2.0 hub to handle those devices. Um, one thing to note the way these connectors connect is on these, it will fit in either way, except when you look at the board, there is one pin that's missing. This part right here where there's a little block, it's a, like filled in on this top corner. That's where the missing pin goes. Just plug that in. And then on this one, it's you're able to tell which side is the correct side because there's a little notch on top here. And there's a little cutout in this uh, square on the motherboard interface. So basically, if you look on the screen here, right here is where the little notch is. So that's where this notch would go. And you'd be able to plug it right in. So again, um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to try to respond to 
um, all the emails again and try to keep up on that at least once a week to get my mail queue and all the questions answered. I do appreciate the, uh, my community. I'm actually starting to form a community, and that's awesome. And you're starting to help each other out, which I love seeing. Um, but I will try to engage and at least make some sort of note that uh, I either saw your comment. If it doesn't need to be addressed, I'll at least try to like it. But uh, thank you guys very much. And if you want, check me out also on Twitch at Mavericks Hideout. And if you have Twitch Prime and you're not using your sub, I have no problem taking a free sub. And lastly, I'm going to try to start on Facebook um, slash Mavericks Arcade. If someone needs assistance or I'm trying to do any sort of assistance or live streams, stuff like that, I'm going to try to keep that content there. Um, and then on YouTube, keep just the content about, you know, videos like this. So if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. And again, I didn't want to have the Twitch thing there because of it's no longer Twitch Mavericks Arcade. It's Twitch Mavericks Hideout. Uh, but the Facebook Mavericks Arcade and the YouTube, which are here is obviously great. So thank you guys again. And we will see you next time again, much sooner than the last video timeframe. Thanks again.